about to say the same thing, which is we're used to seeing that kind of change here in Texas, where it goes from one extreme uh, and to the other, yeah. where it gets wiped out. So I want to start with this map that shows you we're going to start back uh, late December because mm. that was uh, the last time you'll find a good pocket of the highest drought classification, <laughs> exceptional in parts of California. Then we kind of push forward through the calendar to January 3rd, the exceptional drought disappeared. There's still 27% extreme drought and 71% seeing severe drought. So still California, not in good shape at January 3rd. But here's the latest drought monitor, humongous improvements. No exceptional drought, no extreme drought. However, 43% of the state is still seeing severe drought that may even improve even more as the rest of the winter goes on. Back in Texas, actually not doing so great for a good chunk of the state. Uh, you see exceptional drought down here in the hill country. You still see a good swath of severe and extreme drought elsewhere. And then back here in North Texas, moderate drought starting to show up in parts of our area from Parker and Wise County down to the west. And of course, still the uh, severe and extreme drought to the southwest of the Metroplex. High today, 61, the normal 57. The low this morning was 43. Uh, so we are just a little bit above the normals today. We're still very dry. We've yet to pick up any measurable rain here at DFW. We expect that to change next week. Right now, it's 60 degrees. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Satellite and radar, just some high thin clouds and we go to the west, you see more rain in California. That's our next storm system that brings us a chance of rain on Saturday. Notice I didn't say I expect that to change Saturday. I said I expect that to change next week when I was talking about the, the measurable rain. There is a chance of rain Saturday here in North Texas. It's really small. So it's not a great chance. This is 7 p.m. Friday. We start to cloud up overnight Friday and certainly Saturday morning. We're cloudy. There will be a few showers across our area. This is just some light scattered rain Saturday morning through midday. There's the front already in the Metroplex. We start to clear out. We'll have sunshine for the second half of the day as clouds move east. The really minimal rain chance does too. Most of you won't see a drop of rain. Those that do will see just that. A drop of rain. That's all we're expecting out of this. 60 degrees on Saturday, 58 on Sunday, more sunshine Sunday. A little bit cooler behind the front with lows in the 30s Sunday morning. Now, what about this chance of snow? Well, I've, I said not so fast. Let's calm down. Uh, really looking at the models and going through the data. Surface temperatures really look to stay well above freezing. You know, we may be in the upper 30s to the mid 40s. That's way above freezing and too cold for anything that would cause issues when it comes to snow. Now, a cold rain is definitely expected on Tuesday, and there may be enough cold air that a couple of snowflakes make it down to the ground. A lot of this would not. A lot of this would just be cold rain, and there may be a little bit of a mix in to the northwest of the Metroplex on Tuesday. So ignore any social media posts that you see. I've seen a ton of them. Where, oh, we're expecting a foot of snow in the Metroplex. We're expecting that's not going to happen. It's cold rain, maybe some snowflakes mixing in. Just trust your local weather boy. 40 degrees tonight, chilly with light winds. Tomorrow, 59, dry and cool, light winds again. Uh, next 10 days, there's the really good rain chance next week. And it stays seasonably cool over the next 10 days. Uh, quite an exception, or quite a difference, I should say, from the first half of the month where we had lots of 70s and even 80s. Now it's back down into the 50s for the most part.